A's hosting the Royals, and the Royals are plus 120 on the money line. The A's are minus 142 over under eight and a half runs. The Royals getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 178, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the, uh, the A's laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 146, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by a minimum of two. And that's something that you very rarely hear this year, except when the, Ra the A's were on that really long winning streak. And even then they were still underdogs. Now, Davidson did pitch twice against the A's this year as a member of the Angels. Four innings, no runs, no earn. They won that game 13 to one in Oakland and he struck out three. Two and a third, no runs, no earn. They lost that game 11 to 10 in 10 innings and he struck out three batters. He is yet to pitch for the Royals. This is his first appearance with them. The over has hit in his last five starts overall. He's got an ERA of 3.6 and he's averaging four and a third innings pitched and all of those games were his starts from last year. So this year he hasn't started. <laughs> Most of the games were uh, bullpen kind of games. Blackburn didn't pitch against the the Royals last year or this year. They are 4 and 1 as a team in his last 5 starts. He's got an ERA of 1.4 and he's averaging 6 innings pitched. The under is 3 and 2 in his last 5 starts. No earned runs, 8 strikeouts, 86 pitches. Uh 4 earned runs, 3 strikeouts, 103 pitches. No earned runs, 7 strikeouts, 105 pitches. Two earned runs, seven strikeouts, 106 pitches. One earned run, five strikeouts, 99 pitches. And I said this in the last video, at least the A's let their pitchers pitch. Now, I understand it's probably due to the fact that they don't have much of a bullpen, but that that's neither here nor there. Head-to-head, -head, the road team is 7-3. and three. The A's are 6-2. and two. The underdog is on a five-game winning streak. The underdog is 8-2 and two on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 8-2. and two. There's only been one one-run game in their last 10 meetings. The under is hitting their last two. The under is 7-3. and three, And the under 8.5 runs is 6-4. and four. The last series that they played was a three-game set in Kansas City, and the A's took two out of three, winning 12-8, 5-4, and then the Royals won the last game 5-1. The Royals are 3-7 and seven in their last 10. They are 1-5 in their last 6. They're on a two-game losing streak. The over is 6-4 and four in their last 10. Losing to the Mariners 6-4, then beating the Cubs 4-3, then losing 6-4 and 4-3 to the Cubs. To the A's, they were getting smacked around by the Orioles. They're on a three-game losing streak. They are 2-8 in their last 10, and the over is 6-4 in their last 10. The over is hitting their last three games. Beating the Cardinals 8-0, then losing 9-4, 7-2, and 12-1 to the Orioles. I just really believe that this is a matter of them playing a better team. That's why the overs got hit. This is a, a tricky game because this is a bad versus worse, I want to say. Um, I'm going to lean with the A's in this one. I'm going to take the A's with the money line. I'm going to take the A's laying the runs, and I'm going to go over in this game and throw all caution to the wind and say we get all kinds of runs. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.